today we're going to make the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> the Big Bad Wolf is made out of the biggest possible milk bottle you can get, which over here is a six pinter. And what you do is very clever. You turn it upside down. So I am holding the handle of the bottle. Can you see? Holding the handle. So we're going to do it that way around. And you draw. Get down, get down, get down. So naughty, that wolf. I'm so sorry. I'll tell you about it anyway. You draw the edge of the mouth and you cut a slit like that. You're going to need mum's help with a knife called Stanley. And then you start to cut the teeth. And that's quite good fun because you literally go cutting triangle teeth. And the thing is, although these teeth look really scary and really fierce, they're only made of soft plastic, so they can't hurt you. So if while you're cutting, the wall suddenly goes, ah, to you, <gasps> it doesn't hurt. No blood, nothing, no scratches, because it's only made out of soft plastic. So you keep going for a while until you've got lots of lovely teeth. Ah, stop. And then you put lots of zigzags on. Now this is really good because it's actually handwriting practice. <laughs> So you can do, oh, come here you. I'm holding the side, I'm holding the edge. And you keep going. This is very good practice for your handwriting. Your teachers will be pleased. Up and down, 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 up and down. It's to make the wolf look really hairy. You need him to look really hairy, big teeth, and now you need the eyes. And this bit makes me laugh because we sometimes say that people have got their eyes on stalks when they're really shocked. So it's like this, eyes on stalks. And here we are. Can you see? His eyes are on stalks. <laughs> so you literally make some holes in the top with a biro. And then you stick in the eyes. It's just a round circle with a sticker in the middle. Or you could use white paint, stick it on the sticker, on the stick. In it goes. In it goes. And we're nearly there now. It's up for the ears. We need the ears. So do you remember we learnt how to make that funny shape at the end? So you can put it in a smaller hole and it'll get stuck. So I've done the same here. They're quite raggedy because I think wolves are always sticking their heads into hedges trying to get young creatures to eat. So their ears look raggedy. So in goes one ear. In goes the other. He does look very strange, this wolf. Turn your eye around, dear. There you go. <laughs> and when they're both in, he'll look even more strange. And then I've got to show you the best secret of all, which is how to put them in the pillowcase so that when he eats grandma, she escapes. She can go in his pillowcase stomach and come out without a mark on her. It's miraculous, really. What you need is a pillowcase. And you don't need to worry, Mum, because this pillowcase is not going to get damaged. I promise you. It's just a pillowcase. No holes are going to be cut. All we're going to do is use this lid. And we're going to screw the lid on with the pillowcase in between. Isn't that clever? I love that. So we get the pillowcase. We find the open end. And you want to do it so it's ready to catch Grandma in that big hole. So I'm going to put it kind of here. And I'm going to put it over the top like that. And I'm going to get my stopper and put it on. Isn't that magical? And it won't fall off. I just love it when things are strong and you can play with them and they won't fall off. And they're good for getting Grandma. Let's see if it works. Are you ready? Grandma! Let's get the other one. She's got a white sheet. Grandma, where are you? Where are you? Hello, my dear. Oh! oh! And he sticks out in his stomach like that. In she goes. And she's quite safe. Or later when along comes da -da 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 -da, the daddy to, to knock the wolf and the wolf tries to get him but he manages to kill him and then he gets out grandma unscathed grandma are you okay and there she is oh my dear thank goodness my arms are long enough to hug you <laughs> and they were rescued but you know that's terrible that misses out the whole bit of red riding hood I'm going to have to tell you the story from beginning to end on a different video using the puppets. But for now, bye-bye from me. <laughs> Time to go. Bye.